Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to write a Java program to find all factor or you can say divisor of a number. So uh, for example if I uh, take a number 36 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36 are its uh, divisor or you can say factors. So uh, let's uh, discuss what's our approach uh, to solve this problem uh, one way to solve this problem is to run a loop from 1 till the number so our number is 36 so till n and i plus plus and what i'm doing is i'm checking whether this number is perfectly divisible uh, by the value of i if it is then I am printing the value of i so if I run this code then see I get the output 1 2 3 4 6 uh, 9 12 18 and 36 so one approach is this if I divide a number and the remainder will be 0 then it's a, a factor or I can or you can say a divisor of a number but uh, the problem with this approach is the time complexity of uh, this solution is o n so I am running a loop from 1 to 36 I mean 1 to n if my number is 1000 in this case the loop will run from 1 to 1000 can can I do better yes <clears throat> let's uh, see uh, so if you see the divisor exists in pairs so if I am saying see the first one is 1 and the last one is 36 then 2 and then 18 then 3 then it's 12 if, then 4 and then it's 9 and then here will be 6 and 6 so if I if you look at it so e into b equal to n and what is n n is 36 so if we run a loop till the square root of a number which is 6 So square root of 36 is 6 and if I saying if n is divisible and if I if n number divided by i equal to equal to i then print i once else system dot out dot print ln and num print the number plus n divided by i so let me explain what i have done so we are running a loop from 1 to 6 and i am saying if if 1 is the factor of 36 then if i divide n 36 by 1 then 36 is also another factor if 2 is my uh, factor of uh, factor of 36 then 36 divided by 2 which is 18 it's also a factor so this line is doing this but in some cases we get uh, both the numbers same for example in case when we reach 6 then 6 is a factor of 36 and 36 divided by 6 which is also a factor of 36 in that case we have to print the number once so if i divide the number by i and i which both are equal then print the number once otherwise print i and the number divides by i so in this way we reduce the time complexity by o square root of n so suppose my number is 36 then that loop will run from 1 to 6 instead of 1 to 36 so see uh, how much 
uh, improvement is there if uh, when we are doing this approach and let me run this code if I run this code see the output still remains the same but our time complexity reduces which is a good thing so uh, that's it for uh, this video uh, for more such programming video you can subscribe our channel or you can visit our website which is https web rewrite dot com thanks for watching this video or uh, thanks for your time